Hey, this is Brian from AJ Cycles. Uh, just going to do a quick walk around of our Thruxton shop bike here. Uh, it's a 2007 Thruxton. Uh, last year carbureted, last year stock with clip ons um, in that configuration. Uh, so, started out as a red red bike with a white stripe. I got it pretty much stock. It had some nice, tasteful bits on it. There's a few things left over from when I picked it up. Um, but for the most part, it's a, it's a pretty much brand new bike. So we'll get started here in the front end. Uh, what you see here is a Moto Demic Adaptive 2 LED headlight uh, in a Benji's Cafe Racer headlight bucket uh, with a Moto Gadget Motoscope Classic uh, combination tack and speedometer. Uh, this tack is pretty cool because uh, I've used my pass button here to uh, toggle through. But this has you know, battery voltage, mile per hour, air temp, oil temp. I don't have any of this stuff hooked up. You need extra sensors for it. But it, you know, that would be RPM. It would also be on the tack there. Average mile an hour, uh, peak speed. No, this bike has never been 132 miles an hour, but I do have a uh, GPS speedometer speedometer sensor hooked up to this, which uh, while, you, while you're programming it, it probably went that high. Uh, and then there's my max RPM. So this is a, uh, does have a uh, TTP igniter on it um, that's been reprogrammed. So that's why you see 8,500 RPMs there. But this is an awesome piece. Uh, pretty, pretty standard install on a carbureted bike. Um, if you're doing a fuel injected bike, like 2012 and up, um, they have something called an M-Tri for Moto Gadget uh, that makes it pretty much plug and play. Um, you're also looking at a Cognito top clamp uh, for the GSXR 600 fork swap that's on the bike and a Cognito uh, fork stem nut. So the fork swap itself, uh, this is like a 2006 GSXR 600 uh, front end. Um, we machined all of the casting marks out of the uh, lower tree there. Um, got some Spiegler uh, custom brake lines in vintage black. We like these because they kind of just look old, but that's an actual braided line in there. Um, upgraded Galfer front rotors, wave rotors. Uh, the wheel is, uh, is a custom wheel. Uh, the hub is made by Cognito Moto. Uh, they basically make spoke hubs for um, for sport bikes for when you do these swaps so you can keep the spoke look, spoke wheels. Um, and then that's laced to a 17 by 3.5 XL front wheel. Uh, we use uh, Buchanan spokes and Woody's wheel works to build all of our wheels. So the headlight brackets here from LSL and uh, I actually found these brackets to get this bucket off of here um, somewhere in the UK and had them powder coated. Uh, every bolt on the front end has been replaced with a stainless steel bolt or titanium. So I've got this cool little titanium axle bolt there. Oberon levers, you don't really see these too much. I wanted something that kind of looked a little classic. If I was redoing this now, I'd probably put Rizoma 3Ds on it. I think those are about the nicest adjustable levers. Uh, Moto Gadget bar and turn signals, M Blaze Disc. Uh, these are very popular. Uh, they've been knocked off, but there's still nothing better than the original here. Uh, along with the Moto Gadget grips here. And this cool little direct mount reservoir here. Uh, haven't really found these. Uh, there was a company in Germany that was making these back in the day. Um, there's a Yanashiki that looks very similar, uh, but quality is uh, not nearly on par. So we'll come down to the side here. Uh, this is LSL seven way uh, adjustable steering dampener uh, with a custom bracket from LSL for the GSXR front end. Uh, this is actually mounted on the wrong side. Um, supposed to sit up a little higher on the angle but it works fine. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite mods on the bike. Uh, then we have the Iron Cobra's exhaust. Uh, we get asked about this all the time. Um, it looks like a total custom piece. Um, they are built one at a time in California by Evan from Iron Cobra's. Uh, we have them available on our website. Um, they sound awesome. Uh, I'll start it up at the end for a little clip. Uh, these are our temperature gauges that we carry, available in Fahrenheit and Celsius uh, for 
pretty much any Triumph model. That's a twin 2001 and up. FCR flat slide carbs. Uh, bought these back when Triumph Performance USA was still around. Carlos from there was a great Triumph resource. Uh, he talked to me into these and this is my absolute favorite model on the bike. It's a completely different bike. Uh, he helped me dial, it in, dial them in over the phone. A uh, great piece. Got a British Customs sprocket cover. Uh, EK 3D chain with a uh, black uh, 520 conversion sprocket here. And there's our little stickers there on the engine case. And then uh, on this side we have uh, from Italy, uh, the Scacciati uh, rear sets. So these are probably the nicest rear sets on the market. You don't really see them around too much. Uh, I think there's like one distributor in the US for them. And then on the back here we have a uh, Calfab uh, aluminum swing arm that we had caracoded. You can see we have our plate tucked up in there. We've made a custom electronics tray for underneath the seat to kind of get rid of um, the air box and all that. And then we've detabbed the whole frame here, repainted that. Works performance. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, they used to be my favorite shock company. Uh, went out of business a little over a year ago. Um, and um, I still think for the money, uh, these Black Tracker shocks um, were the best shock that you can get. And then uh, in the back here, we have a uh, lace to a stock rear hub. It's an Excel 17 by 5.5 uh, rear wheel. Um, and then I just put these new Dunlop Q3 Plus tires on the bike. Oh, uh, the seat. Everyone wants to touch this foam seat here. This is actually a one-piece uh, fiberglass cowl from the Italian Bruxton Cup series. So we uh, mounted this up, got this trick little push-button seat mount here. Uh, paint was done by Slag Custom. Uh, he does all our paint. He helps us out with some fabrication, some welding when we need it at the shop. Um, you'll see new bracket here for the uh, kind of like the up and over setup but this comes with the CalFab swing arm. Those are available from uh, British Customs and also Moto GP Works out of California. Turn signals are just some really cheap LEDs. They actually came on the bike and I just kind of liked where they sat there. Um, we have a little module up here that allows them to be run, brake, and turn signals. On this side, uh, not a whole lot going on. British Customs clutch, dress up kit. Um, there's the other side of the, the Scotchy Audi. I'm probably totally butchering that. Some uni filters on here. Norman Hyde uh, oil line kit. This is the black kit. Uh, unfortunately, anodizing just always goes, turns a little purplish and grayish over time. And then back up on the levers here M rear Moto Gadget bar and turn signal. Custom Monza gas cap. Uh, this is one of the original ones that were one piece design. Uh, we now carry the most fun ones. And we'll have those in black soon. So this is the Iron Cobras fabrication uh, GP exhaust. Uh, these are handmade in California. All stainless steel construction. Uh, some stainless steel springs here on the, the collector there. Very neat design. Uh, I've had this on my bike for about four years. Uh, it's held up great. Uh, all stainless is kind of going to bronze like this over time. Uh, it's just very unique. It actually does have a baffle in there. I'm going to start this up and uh, let you hear it.
Uh, I've been begging them to make one for the newer Thruxton R. Uh, I think eventually it will happen. Uh, ours has a little bit of a custom mount here because we have the aftermarket rear sets. But uh, normally the Thruxton one would mount to the stock master cylinder bolts, which are about right here, somewhere like that. And then the Bonneville version, it actually uses the rear peg mounts, which we don't have. So it would be like right here. So it's a little longer. But that's it. Iron Cobra's fabrication uh, available through AJ Cycles. Available with and without O2 sensors. Uh, they're $949.99 shipped in the US. Which, if you think about it, for a full custom one-off pipe, uh, it's not mass produced. Uh, I think that's a really great price. Made in California and available at ajcyclesny.com.